Guess what time it is? It's Eureka time. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're January 26, 2021, and our goal is to get a 90% or higher on our end of module. Today we're going to be doing lesson three. We're going to continue our learning, and our objective says I can interpret two digit numbers, meaning a number with two numbers, as either tens and some ones, or we can all of them as all ones. So our key points, what do we need to know? Well, we need to know what place value is, and it's the value of each digit. Each digit is another word for number of a number, right? So this is a digit, two is a digit, and four is a digit. So there we have a two digit number, which is 24. We, all, we need to know what tens is, which when we draw them, they're sticks. We call them quick tens. So right here we have two tens. In our place value chart, we have two tens and four ones. Four ones right here. Our number one, we wrote it as 20 because two tens, the value of two tens is 20 plus four equals 24. How are we going to be successful? Well, we're going to circle the groups of 10. If we have a picture, we're going to circle the groups of 10 that we have. So we know those are two tens. And then we're going to count to find the total number. So right here, we would count 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we know that our total number is 24. We're going to write the numbers tens and ones, just like it's here on the place value chart. And then we also write the number the regular way which would be just like this number right here, where we wrote it the regular way, right? So let's go on and do some learning. Please make sure that you are just listening and you're sitting very tall. Ready? Look at this number. How many tens and ones make up 24? Get ready. I should have heard two tens and four ones. Remember to name the unit, boys and girls. Let me ask you this. How many ones are in two tens? Hmm. Well, if you say, Ms. Gomez, what do you mean by how many ones? I thought it was two tens. Well, this tens is the unit that we're using, but how would what would be the value of two tenths? How would we write two tenths the regular way? Well, we would count by tens, right? 10, 20. So we have 20 ones in two tenths, just like this. So, and these would be our extra ones. How many extra ones are there? Get ready. Yes, four extra ones. So how many ones are in two tenths and four ones? Well, 24. So two tenths and four ones, which our picture would look like this, two tenths and four ones is the same as 24 ones, which is just the number written the regular way. That just means that if we had two groups of 10, if we would count each little cube, remember that each stick is made up of 10 cubes, it would be 24 ones. If we have a Lincoln cube and we break it all apart, we would have 24 ones. So we would have 20 plus four extra ones, 24 ones. Let's listen to another one so that we can better understand. How many tens and ones make up 13? Listen to my question. How many tens and how many ones? Get ready. Yes, one ten and three ones make up 13. But how many ones, keyword right here, are in one ten? So we know that we have one group of 10, but if we break it all apart, how many ones would we have? Get ready. Yes, we would have 10 ones. So how many extra ones are there? Get ready. Yes, three ones. So
So how many ones are in one ten and three ones? Get ready. Yes, 13. So one ten and three ones is the same as, get ready, 13 ones. Very good. Awesome job. Now let's look at this problem. We're going to circle the group of tens. Here we have one group of ten. We have another group of ten and another one. And then we're going to count to find the total number. So we have ten, twenty, thirty. Then we're going to count by ones because we have extra ones. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. So how many straws do we have? Get ready. Yes. 34 straws. Remember, we're still listening. Now, how many groups of 10 did we circle? Get ready. Yes, three tens. How many ones do we have? Get ready. Yes, one, two, three, four. Four ones. Great job, boys and girls. Help me solve another one. Look at this one. Now we're using our tens and ones instead of pictures. So we circle the groups of tens. So we, here we have one, here we have another one. Do I circle this? Get ready. No, because it is not a group of 10. Here I have another one. So how many groups of 10 do we have, boys and girls? Get ready. Yes, three groups of 10. And how many ones do we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine ones. So how many cubes do we have in total? Get ready. Yes, 39 cubes. Way to go, awesome scholars. Now we have a place value chart and we have numbers in our place value chart of tens and ones. We need to write these numbers the regular way. So how do we write three tens and two ones the regular way? Do I write 30 and then two? Is three tens and two ones the same as 30, 302? Get ready. No, right? That is very wrong. So we would erase this. And now, how would we write three tens and two ones the regular way? What number is that? Get ready. Yes, 32. Great job. How do we write zero tens and nine ones the regular way? Do I write it like this? Is zero tens and nine ones the same as 90? Get ready. I hope you said no, because that is not the same number. Here we have 90. We would have nine tens and zero ones. But remember, our chart place value chart says we have zero tens and nine ones. So we would just write this number as nine. The number nine. Great job, boys and girls. So be ready to log into Paradig for the live session. See you then.